Good, good, good. Right. Overrated, Today's underrated. Overrated, underrated. Hit me, boy. Good topic of conversation. Before and after pictures. Ooh. Ooh. That's a very... Spicy. That is a very, very good one. Before and after pictures. Overrated, underrated. <sighs> In which sense? For, for who? Well, that's a good point, because this is where my... For advice her. would change and I'll tell, let me give you a wee bit of backstory why I'm bringing this one up so I'm on a consultation call the other week there and um, the lady that's working with me was um, she's got religious practices and stuff like that and she was asking me a question that how do I measure results now you know me I've never been one for the before and afters but all power to my clients who are like posting them they're like look look at this transformation awesome Aye. love it because it there's an element that spurs motivation can i recognize the hard work you're doing for me i just i don't and i was having this conversation with one of my clients the other day as well and i was like if you clicked on my page and all you saw was before and afters what would that make you feel and she was like it probably would have pushed me away because i hate she she her words is she hates seeing like like girls and like her words were like skimpy like bra and pants and stuff like that and I can see where she's coming from but I also see the other side and I went through it myself but back to the story of consultation and she kept asking me how do I measure results and I was like well it depends, it depends on the person so we can go on feeling we can look at strength numbers but we can we can have a goal as well mm -hmm. and I got down to the question it was because um, through her religious practices she didn't want to send another man like maybe revealing revealing uh, images I, I can understand and that and totally. I never that has never crossed my mind however is that that's one of the first things that crossed no, my mind no no like in, t in the sense from a religious point of view oh, right, but usually right. when I'm when I've got a new client like I never even got to this part with her yet um, but usually when I've got a new client especially the girls even the guys I say to them I go look the, a, a very good source of your starting point is pictures measurements and weight right. now with all that, that's your staple. You put it to one side and then we'll review that in a couple of months' time. However, with the pictures side of things, I know that can be a wee bit invasive and maybe not comfortable with it. So you don't need to share that with me. But I would definitely recommend that you take in good lighting with like plain background, a front shot, a side shot and a back shot. Yeah. Because I, gu I guarantee you that in three, four months' time when things are hitting a bit of a lull and you don't see much changes, we go back to those pictures as a reference and you you're see like, massive fucking, changes. Wow, look at me, like who's that guy? Who's Aye. that girl? So that kinda what kinda got me thinking. I was like, I wonder where because we've went back and forth on the over on the the topic of before and afters and stuff like that. I think um, I think I'm slightly changing on it. I'm starting to get more clients doing it. Good. Uh, you fucking sell it. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I could say it's overrated or underrated. I think some people can definitely overrate it. So this is why I brought it up because I knew it would be a good conversation. Like try to do this on a fucking sixty second reel, not a chance at no, all. No, 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 no. But I think this is a good long topic to to talk about. So I've started asking my my clients this question. Would they like? like I know as a fitness entrepreneur to, to grow my business, one of the best marketing tools you can have before is and after. before and afters. Yeah. With that being said, for me, my message isn't about aesthetics, so I feel I'm going to try, I'm, that's why my testimonials is someday, it's just a good picture of someone and it's the writing blob. Now I've got a few, well I've not got a few, I've got a lot of people who have like, amazing before and afters and I leave my clients to post that so if they post that and they tag me cool I, I'll put it in my testimonial folder yeah. um, and I'll share it and stuff like that I just don't like to personally I don't like to post it from my point of view because um, I feel it might be a wee bit too contradictory to the clientele I've got because um, how they came on to me to start with yes there was an element to look a certain way and look a bit better but it was always look I'm trying to better my health here yeah 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 and, I understand that and I found myself when I was posting before and afters and I was like that's you weren't happy with yourself no not even that as I, when I was coaching so I, I posted look at me here right. and look at me here aye, blah, aye. blah blah and then I was like that's not a good message either because what I was saying is that I'm saying to people look at me here uh, no, like I'm not doing very well blah 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 but I'm in good shape mm -hmm. but I'm not, I'm not communicating that on my social media aye. so then a client who's overweight and no good, good health practices good relationship with food they're like fuck that guy like he looks amazing in that picture and that's because I had my own bias you always have your own bias and in your head. own head aye. so I think that was more of an insecurity side of things that I didn't realise that was actually turning more people away from the help that was trying to make yeah. so um, so, aye, so, you, so you're saying you're changing your your opinion then a little bit slightly slightly yeah 
I think I think it's silly. I remember having this conversation with a few RPT friends, and one of them saying, "Well, what, why would you not show like the amazing work that's been put in?" Mm -hmm. And I get that point as well. I just think for me. I'm gonna. I'm doing it a wee bit different. And like I think you need to stand by what the clients that they have are amazing. And I think that might be down to one of that. That's one of the reasons that because I've no marketing like that. Right. Do you get me? They've came in. They've stuck to everything I've told them. They're loving strength training. They're no for fixating on their looks. They're still losing weight. If that's if their goals losing weight. If their goals to gain weight, they're still gaining weight. And they're no fixated on their looks, mm. but they're still looking better than they ever have. And Probably looking looking at it from like if we're sitting if I've never really looked at it too much into this, but if I'm sitting to talking about it right now, it's probably because I've never marketed myself like that. Yeah. Do you get me? So all the clients that I've got, they only whatever on my social media and whatever they hear off me is what they is what they go are going to go after. Mm. So I've never said that the goal is to look like me. The goal is to be have That's a big right, chest, yeah. big shoulders, big big legs. I say yeah. the goal is to be strong, healthy, and happy. And you will look better. I tell them that you will look better. But the goal is to look, be strong, better, and ha happy. I say your goal is not to lose weight. Your goal is to feel better. Yeah. And I always say that to them. So see if I was putting up like, oh, here's a picture when they were 16 stone. Here's a picture on the 12 stone. Then, yeah, you you're putting it. You probably are putting out that message. The goal is to lose weight. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But my cl the clients that I've got, they are not like that. The goal is not to lose weight. The goal is to feel better, and in turn, they lose weight. Yeah. Do you get me? And this is where I'm I'm really conflicted with. It's, it I'm confl I know I, I don't I don't I don't think there's, time, there's no right or wrong. I, no, no, there, there isn't a right or wrong. It's and I think it just goes back down to who's the clientele you want to attract. But the the reality is most, if not all, clients have some kind of goal of lose or changing their changing their appearance is probably a better phrase to use. And that's where it, it, I find myself sometimes and I'm like I think should I should I be posting that because I've got I've got some amazing ones I've had a guy who dropped twelve stone like when I worked with him in my garage right into gym twenty four and it is unreal the before and after but I'm like look I sent it to him I was like look there's yours like it's up to you if you want to do I that. think the good thing the way to look at it now is post it but then when somebody comes in you go look yeah he done that it looks better now but I told him at the start look you've got to be healthier stronger and happier yeah or but, however you communicate it. And go. That wasn't that he only achieved that because of this. But I think that's one thing. Like, see, all the testimonials that I'm posting just now. Mm -hmm. There's great physical transformations behind it, but it's maybe not as sexy and it doesn't sell as much. But I think I don't know. For me, like, if all my if all my profile picture is these amazing transformations, and there's nothing like I said, there's nothing wrong with these amazing transformations. Me, when I was looking for a coach. I was on my coach's page and I was looking at before, oh, look what you done for him, look what you done. Hi, I'm going to go with that guy. So I've been the fucking, I've been at the other end as the client. Aye. And that's what, that's what uh, solidified me going with this coach. And now what I realise is going with a coach who has a basin before and afters doesn't mean they're a good coach. And I think that's why, I think that maybe that's what's stuck in my head. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, right, how do I attract one? How do I attract my target audience? Who is my target audience? Yeah. My target audience, yes, there's an aesthetic goal there, but the main thing is stronger health, understanding food, understanding the gym, workouts and education. Yeah. And I just think on a before and after, for me, that doesn't really, that communicates a very small part of what I do as a coach. So whereas I post a testimonial with a, with more writing behind of it, might not get as many views, might not get as, get as many likes, but to me that holds my... Do you think it's maybe time to change it? Integrity. Hmm? Do you think it's maybe time to change it? Change what? Change how we do it. Because I, I, I think it's probably uh, it's probably time because I don't I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with it as long as Oh you mean before, post before? I, I, I actually think there's nothing wrong with it as long as the coaching is still the same. Do you get me? Yeah. I think for for me I'm probably not still gonna like marketing wise unless I don't it's know it's got to be very rare for me I, don't, I still don't really get a lot of clients to do it, the pictures but part of it I think this is why I wanted to bring it up because I, I wasn't sure where you stood on it but I know I know amazing coaches who do it so, again this is what I'm trying to say it's not, it doesn't necessarily the mean problem that I find with pictures is you get really hyper fixated on it don't know yeah. about you yeah, yeah. I find the, 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 there becomes an unhealthy obsession with the pictures I'll tell you first hand like so, and I, 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 I've been through it. Like I've been the guy who takes a picture here, a picture here, a picture here, and then puts them beside each other. I'm going, oh yes, I look better. 
And in that, see that moment, you feel fucking amazing. You're like, fuck man, look at that difference. But then a week later, you're like, I need that done again. Like, I need that feeling because there no, there's no better feeling than that. I mean, done. But there's, but there's no better yeah. feeling than seeing yourself. But then it's not about that. So this leads nicely. I wasn't sure what to call this overrated, underrated, but I was going to, mainly it was the weekly pictures. Was That's what I was going to, I was going to say, like, where do you stand on that? And to me, online coaches push weekly measurements, weekly pictures, weekly weigh-ins. Yeah. And I think there's demographic of a, a big chunk of people that that goes okay for. Aye. But there's also a lot of people that that does more harm than good. Um, and the conversation I had with a client recently, I was like, she was telling me what she was doing with her old coach and I was, she was weighing in every week. And I was like, I said, like, why every week? She's like, I don't know, but the scales were annoying me when I wasn't doing that. And I was like, did you communicate this? And I always take a pinch of salt with what a client says because I know clients have left me and they'll be bad mouthing me and mm. shit like that. But um, what I was like, right, there is a, there's probably a bit of a, and no, I don't know what the word I'm trying to look for, but as an online coach, there's only so many ways you can measure results. Aye. But no, like it, I feel like a lot of people when they they don't find it sexy going, oh look, I've got this person squat now. Instead of going, look, I've got this person lost ten pounds. Aye. Weight loss is is what attracts everyone Aye. for sure. It is, it is, um, it is. So on the on the the picture side of things, I vividly remember taking my weekly progress shots from my coach, mm. and like you said, you're fixated on it. And let's be honest, see when you're caught up in that realm and you're you're doing it every it's week. It's no nice, mate. It's not even that. You, you're looking at the pictures and you're like, I can't see anything. You don't really see anything because you're seeing yourself so often. I think pictures from a starting point to the end of a block. So absolutely. do you know what this? This actually goes very well into the mirrors thing. Mm. I fixated less on my looks in here because there's no mirrors, and I, f I don't take pictures really much. I don't, I don't say I don't take pictures at all. I do yeah. take pictures, but it's very very rare. And do you know what? See, after a day, I'm like, I don't feel fantastic. Yeah. Like, the, the feeling of a good picture leaves pretty quickly. Because what happens is, you take a good picture, you show people, they go, oh, that's amazing, that's amazing, that's amazing. And you got all this validation. Not even that, then you're hooked on your social post you're, and you're scrolling, you're like, refreshing you, every 10 you, minutes. And I remember it well, you got hooked on this validation. I was like, you're doing so well, you're doing so well. And then you post the next one, and I was like, ah, you're doing good, you're doing good. And then it's like, ah, you're doing, you're doing, you're, you're, you've always been Seen doing, it before, eh? You've always been doing good. And then you're like, fuck man, like, nobody cares anymore. It's like when we first, the first episode of our podcast, views, straight Sky. through the When you consistently deliver it, that's all right. Aye. Nobody cares. <laughs> but, then, but then that gets in your mind. And I'll always remember it. You're like, why the fuck is nobody caring anymore? And it's not like they should care about me, they should care about me, but you're just used to it. Because when you post your first transformation picture and it's a good one, I was like, wow. Well fucking done. So when it comes to, aye, it's good for the PT to show off, and it's good for the client, but it's very, very easy to get fixated on pictures because, as we say, you look at it at yourself and you take the next one, you can't really tell the difference. That's one. <clears throat> if you decide to post it, your first one will pop off and you get that all that validation. Next one, it won't, and you'll be left feeling why. But then there's also the element of if being so fixated on it the start the, you're looking at these shortcuts to get the the time frame even shorter aye, so aye. you're like right let me let me get a pump before this picture ah, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I mean? let aye. me let me put some makeup on before this picture yep. let me get the best angle let me get the best lighting and it leads you down a rabbit hole and this is like Jordan Syatt's post that I shared the other day he was Q&A's and somebody asked him he's like should I what, what would you say to somebody that wants to drop their carbs before their photo shoot and he was like well unpopular opinion here but why don't you just have your carbs and take a picture how you normally look 99% of the time rather than that's a 1% deleted and that's what these, uh, these, these photo shoots right and you, you're in the best shape of your life and you get a picture with the best camera and the best lighting you're looking at that you're looking in the mirror and that's no you mm. that's no you that was you for a, that was you for a very very short amount of time and I think but that's no uh, you day to day life so how are you going to feel good when that's your picture and I think that's what leads to insecurity and that look I, I've got so much empathy for because let's be honest like guys I can you see the guys that pop up and they're coaches or they're just fitness fanatics and their profile pictures is the, the picture of them where they're they cut down for a photo shoot they've got their photo shoot taken and then that's their picture mm -hmm. but then I've se I see them majority of the time when they're posting on their stuff and I'm like that's so dramatically different mm -hmm. for women it's even more escalated but I think that goes out there's a bigger 
there's a bigger challenge, I believe, for women on social media. We make up products. Against each other. so much like Botox. Aye, aye, the, aye. Whole, the whole thing. But that, that, there's, that's a bigger, probably, there's a bigger aesthetic pull for women. Aye, that's, that's the main reason behind, like, the... Uh, the reason why I don't like it now, I loved it back in the day. Like, go, you scroll back a good I two, three hundred posts. I was the same. Honestly, I think if you go into my personal one, I bet you I can, because I don't post in my personal one that much. So if I swap over here and I've scrolled down, there we go, one, two, three, four, I've, six rows down. I've not made a before and after picture in about ten months. I've took pictures, but I've never put them before any other pictures now this was I'll show you one here that I fixated over so this was me I don't know must have been about two weeks out from my show right 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 fucking right. look jacked I've turned the sharpness all the way up Aye, that that's what I used to do so no but this is what I want to say like that picture was a good picture just naturally taken but you have to enhance because I'm taking pictures every single week enhance 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 I remember looking at that picture going that's not good enough Aye. look at me I'm for, I'd kill for that right now. Like, aye, uh, aye. being perfectly honest, being fixated on my aesthetics. But there is, there's, there's healthy obsession, and then there is like fixated obsession. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, I just think that's what I feel like. You have to go down it for, for a lot to really truly understand. Yeah, <laughs> you do. Just try to communicate that to them. I was like, shut up, man. Like, look at me. I was a fat piece of shit there, and now look, I'm fucking. Uh, I look amazing in this picture. Aye. Absolutely testament to your dedication. You've, you've killed out your nutrition. You've stuck to your calories, but. What happens after it? Because that's what that's what that picture doesn't show you. The Aye. rebound. I gained twenty two pounds. If you've got an unhealthy relationship with food or something like that, the, the high likelihood is you're going to have an unhealthy obsession with pictures, scales, all that. If you keep doing it, do you know yeah. what I mean? And I'm not saying that everybody will, but uh, there's a high likelihood if you've got an obsession with something, mm -hmm. then when it comes to fitness, it's very very easy to have an obsession with like pictures, etc. Yeah. So how like spin this round then? How do you how are you creating a healthy relationship with your clients with pictures? So first thing is you yeah, you have a larger time scale once a month once every two months, right? That's the only time you're allowed to take a picture. You need to be disciplined in yourself. Like, I'm not taking a picture any other time. You start taking pictures all here, there, and everywhere. Then you're you're just you're allowing yourself that failure, mm -hmm. and you don't you don't want to hit failure just for the sake of it. And then you go to say, did that actually make me feel good? But did that actually make me feel better? Did that actually make, make me motivated? Or did that make me feel worse? Mm -hmm. And so I've got somebody who knows, we'll take away the scales. The scales are making I feel way worse. So the scales are in the bin. Aye. Scales are in the bin. I said, fucking put the scales in the bin. They are severely damaging your progress to where you actually want to be. Mm -hmm. uh, you, want, you want weight loss, but you don't want weight loss. You want to feel better. Everybody wants to feel better. So see if you think, I want, I want weight loss. If I, you think, if I lose 10 pounds. No, no. If you feel better, then you'll lose 10 pounds and they bother. Ah, you might lose ten pounds, but you won't feel better because you already don't feel good. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And hers was the scale, and a few people is the scale, and then but if you, but if you go into the pictures, then it becomes the pictures as well. Yeah. So if you're fixated on the scale, then you're fixated on the pictures as well. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and this is this is what leads to the the whole message of chasing aesthetics. You're cutting corners to get to that. All goal. the time, man. And then as soon as you hit that goal you then think that is the only way to achieve that look. Aye. So whether you're then stuck in this yo-yoing phase, and I, there's, there's so much of a topic so, to get into, but I think it, like, when you, for one, it's a great marketing tool for coaches, right? 100%. And I think that's why it's used. Two, though, it becomes too much of a marketing tool for coaches where coaches then, like, for me... Try and get the best pictures aye. quickly. And, and I think that's why a lot of coaches do boot camps, and that's why they do hit classes and hit workouts and all this sort of stuff and there's very little emphasis focused on building good foundations, good strength training, good sort of resistance training program, then pulling the lever and all these other cardio elements which is still good for your health but I think because there's no value within that within that first block of training or whatever it is, like it's, I don't know. It's, it well you've got, you've got to look at the, like for women especially they've got this face tune and all that. Like you look at Lance's pictures and I didn't even know this until a couple of weeks ago, maybe a month ago, that they edit all their pictures. And it, it see if, if a woman does that to her face, then how's she gonna feel about her body? Yeah, and I think that, that's where I don't feel that the message of before and afters is helping that situation anymore. Aye, aye. I think it's great to celebrate what's happened, but I think I don't know, like I don't know, I'm I'm very I'm very conflicted with it. I've got like on my head I stand by what I'm gonna do for me, my business and like 
If it wouldn't, if it wasn't working for me, I'd probably have a different opinion here. Aye. But it's working for me just now, so mm -hmm. all I can do is keep sticking, sticking by it. Mm -hmm. And I know, as I said, I know great coaches who use it mm -hmm. and utilize it well. And I know they're fantastic coaches with their clients. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't necessarily mean you're a you're a bad coach. But no, it doesn't mean that at all. I think. I just think like it's a good topic to talk about because for the average listener that's listening and you've seen all these before and afters, the one that fries my nut the complete most is not even taking in the same place, same position, same posture. I can tell you right now, I can sit in front of a picture, slouch my shoulders, hunch Aye. my body over, breathe out. Turn the, light, turn the light off. Turn the light off. Take a picture, stand in the same spot two hours later. Turn the light on. Get a pump out there no, turn and the, stand on. Aye, and, turn the light off. And get that look exposure. as if I've, I've had a... Uh, 10 pounds of muscle gain and 15 pounds of fat loss in, in one day and that's where you can. I always can tell when I coach a player I'm like ah, oh, you're sure. comparing apples to oranges Aye. like that makes no like you're talking and, and then I don't know like sometimes I even look at some progress pictures as well and I'm thinking bullshit not even bullshit I'm just like you've just exposed somebody there like is it that is there's is no a physical difference ah, aye, aye. but just posted it's and just delighting bad and I'm like it's great that that person's got that but it's you're, just delighting you're, I don't know it's, just, it's like the exposure and skimp I don't know it's a hard one mate it's overrated really hard rated. I think moderately rated but you need to know where you stand say in the side. I was going to keep it you need it? to know where you stand in everything that we said there like are you, if you get a bad relationship with the scales and how you look then Take your pictures, put them to the side, focus on training for strength, go back to them in three months' time, watch what's happened. Yeah. Um, 